before about other, other countries in, in, in the Pacific area. There are, there are island countries, which if we don't stop this uh, and take serious effort to stop this uh, uh, global warming, they will disappear soon. Those, those, those islands will disappear soon. And in theory, your islands could eventually be affected too. Oh, of course. It, it affects everybody. It affects everybody. Because when you talk about global warming, it's not only about uh, the, 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 the rising of the sea level, but also the change of the climate. That's why we, we invented this word climate change. And when the climate change, it changes the production, it changes the agriculture uh, production, it changes the farmer's behavior, it changes the farmer's way of planting things. It could threaten the extinction of your entire island in one day. It could, it, it, it will definitely affect the food production. And when you talk about the food, if, if food production is affected, then I think the, the civilization is also uh, in danger. And what is causing this type of situation right now? Uh, okay, let me, let me give you another example before I answer that question. Papua has a snow peak. It has been there for a long time, right? Including in the, uh, our, in the Papua New Guinea. Now there is no more snow peak in Papua New Guinea. There is no more ice cap. You have to take and appreciate the fact that this is right in the tropical area. Why our, the, the size of the snow peak in Papua is getting less and less every year? It's because of the global warming. And that is affecting the people, the food, the, uh, the habits? Eventually, it will, it will go that way. And another thing, up in the highland before, there is no malaria. And you know malaria disease, right? Now, people can easily get, get malaria up in the highland. Why? Because of the global warming.